All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Awaken Dad, guys. Appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. Um, I got a treat today, man. Uh, um, I'm still homeless by choice, minimalist tent living, and but uh, I'll talk about that maybe later. But right now, I want to talk about the spiritual journey and 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 the symbolism of of a movie uh, that just about everybody on the planet has probably seen at least once. Uh, uh, the Wizard of Oz, and uh, I'm going to give you my take on it and and what I perceive the movie to to really mean today. And and uh, I'm no philosopher. I'm no. I haven't done some in depth analysis. I haven't even seen the movie in I don't know decades. But uh, uh, I'm going to give you my take on it and and um, kind of how it relates to to spirituality and spiritual awakening and and some of the the uh, symbolism and metaphors of the movie at least in my my perspective right and so i hope you guys watch to the end and please comment let me know your thoughts whether you agree with me or you don't agree with me and again this is kind of an elementary like uh analysis from from my point of view right and uh, um could be empowering could mean nothing so please hit like, please share, please subscribe, please comment. Let me know your thoughts, man. And uh, so let's talk about it, man. What is a spiritual awakening? First of all, right? A spiritual awakening is to me, it's just this, this awakening from the illusion, right? What they call Maya, the illusion of the way things are. It's like suddenly realize it's a change of perspective, right? It's a shift of perspective. It's like you're just seeing things differently now, right? Like it, it is, you've been taught that this is what you're supposed to see with these two eyes your entire life and and this is what everything is supposed to act and your identity has been built up and suddenly all that crashes down and and you see things from a different light right and and it comes from within and and you just see the interconnectedness to everything and 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 it's just a shift of perspective it's awakening from the dream from the slumber right and, and that, that we're all in the delusion we're all in and and uh and how it relates to the Wizard of Oz, right? It's like, uh, so let's think about Dorothy. She's from Kansas and she's going through a storm, right? Immense suffering, um, just dissatisfied with everything. And, and suddenly she finds herself and her dog like cast out into this new world, right? She awakens into this new world, like, uh, and it's just strange. It's bright and colorful, and 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 it's uh, it's confusing. And there's a whole host of characters, none of which lack their own symbolism. But but for the sake of this short video, we'll we'll skip a lot of that. And uh, um, but she's lost now, man. She's completely lost. She just she has no idea where she's at or how to get home. And and she's just struggling at every turn. And and nothing is familiar to her anymore. And, and she's in Munchkin land or whatever, and she's seeing all these characters. And I'll talk about two of them though, right? You get the, 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 the good witch of the North. I think her name is Glenda or something. The white witch, right? Symbolizing the light and, and, and trying to guide her to, to the solution, right? And, and then you got the wicked witch of the West um, which is the black witch, right? The dark witch, right? And, and that symbolizes how the, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. So as it's setting in the west, it's preparing for darkness, right? So that's why you get the dark witch from the west. And, and that's ego, right? That's uh, um, it's doing everything she can. The light's trying to point her to home and the, the darkness trying to keep her trapped and keep her, you know... Um, in suffering and keep her in the illusion and the Maya, right? Uh, not let her get home, not let her find her way. And, and you know, she's looking everywhere for the solution, asking everybody and, and they're singing and dancing and the munchkins tell her she's got to go to Oz and everybody says to go to the great Oz and he'll know the answers because he's God, right? He's, he's the power, he's the source of everything and she's got to travel to Oz. And so, and they also tell her, 
she has to start this journey on the yellow brick road. And if you remember the yellow brick road where she has a start is like a circular vortex and it just goes around and around. And she has to start at the beginning and she has to follow that vortex all the way to Oz, right? And, and along the path, uh, along the journey, you know, the ego, the Wicked Witch of the West is still trying to stop her, prevent her from, from getting home, right? And, and she meets a cast of characters along the way. Uh, first is the, the scarecrow, right? And, and he's lacking brains, and, and which has its own symbolism that I won't go into great detail for, but you talk about the scarecrow, the tin man, and the cowardly lion, right? So you talk about the brain, the heart, right? The distance from the mind to the heart, and, and the tin man's lacking a heart, um, and the cowardly lion lacked the courage, right? So all of these things are, are, are symbolism for like Dorothy needing the courage to follow the journey, uh, has to follow her heart and, uh, and not listen to her mind so much or discover the mind and the heart and the balance of everything. And, and along the journey, they go through immense suffering and everything's trying to block their path from, from getting to the destination and finding their way home. And, but they end up making it all the way to to Oz, only to be turned back. And and as Jim Carrey says, they finally discover that God or Oz, the great wizard of Oz or God, is just a sweaty guy behind a curtain, man. And he he doesn't have the answers at all. And and uh, and in that moment, Dorothy is exhausted and just fundamentally gives up the quest and gives up the search for ever getting home and, and just realizes she's going to be stuck in this illusion forever and 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 in that moment of surrender of complete surrender of abandoning herself entirely bink the light tells her like you've had the power the entire time you could have went home whenever you wanted to um it's always been within you and She's sad though. Now she's sad, right? She's she's suffering again because she's sad because she's made all these beautiful relationships along the journey and, and she's gonna miss them and she doesn't wanna leave, but she wants to get back home. She's torn and and uh, she says goodbye and, and she uses her power and she comes back home and, and she awakens, right? She awakens from the dream and, and she sees all her family there and she realizes she's never, She didn't lose her friends because we're right there in front of her, right? Her family were the people that she met along the journey and the dream, right? So, so she's in the same place she was before she left, but her perspective changes. She's so happy to be there and have this new realization and this new insight and, and this awakening from the illusion, from the slumber, right? And, 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 and that's really what awakening is all about, man. And it's like, uh, it's it's nothing external has changed but i've changed right i've changed and i could see the the joys and the things that i used to curse right like and it's it's awakening from the illusion that i'm not separate from any of these things that it doesn't matter if it's a dream or if it's of if it's this type of reality it's like i can see the the uh the absolute joy and beauty and the connections with everything and now here's a crazy thing is that Dorothy had the power the entire time. But the good witch Glenda didn't tell her that because she had to take the journey, right? She had to exhaust everything. She had to look on the yellow brick road. She had to look behind every, around every corner, under every rock, ask every person. She had to exhaust all the means before she could surrender, before she would surrender, right? So, it, and, and, and that plays a big part because I can't tell you. I can't give it to you. I can't hand it to you. You have to take the journey. You have to seek. You have to discover. You have to self-discover. It's self-discovery. It's self-realization. Nobody can give it to you. And every teacher you ever meet will give you things to do to in order to self-discover, but they can't give it to you either. You have to discover it. And, and the purpose isn't to get there. It isn't to get to the end and say like, ah, I'm enlightened. 
It is to enjoy the journey along the way. It is to build the relationships with the with the people you meet. It is to to experience absolute joy. Even this, even the struggles that we endure, right? Even the even the 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 suffering that we endure is like to teach us something. It is not nothing is lost. There is no failure. There is no sudden like um, realization, right? It is like if you're trying to awaken that's what's going to keep you from awakening man you know like it is to practice the principles practice the techniques and then it happens when it happens it happens when when we give up trying it happens when we completely just say this is it you know this is all i'm gonna ever experience and then bink it kind of happens and uh and and dorothy had to travel the yellow brick road it wasn't lost. It wasn't failure. It wasn't like, oh, I wish I would have, you know, people say that all the time. I wish I would have known this 20 years ago. Well, you did. <laughs> but you had to go through what you had to go through to uncover it, right? And and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. So, uh, you know, Dorothy had to travel that. She realized she never lost those relationships are right there in front of her again. And, 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 and she's absolutely overjoyed that she can experience both worlds now, right? Like she gets to experience Kansas and in color and, and all the relationships she met are right there in front of her that she's never lost. And, and, and she's not bickering that, Oh man, that was a, that was a lot of suffering I had to go through. It's absolutely overjoyed. It's absolutely like, thank you. Right. And, and that's my experience with awakening, right? It's like, it's, it happened to me. Um, I didn't do anything to, to achieve it. It just happened to me. And, and I want to know your guys' thoughts. And, and I don't even know if I covered everything I wanted to cover because there's so much symbolism in that. It's like, you have to travel the journey though. And, you're, and, it, and it's a vortex and it's a circle. And when you, get to the, when you get to the end, which is the beginning, you'll know this place for the first time because it'll be a new experience, right? Everything will be a new experience, but you haven't moved. You're still in the same spot. And that's what Dorothy had to experience. She never moved. She was in Kansas the entire time. She never moved. But she knows that place for the very first time. Appreciate you for watching. Please hit like. Please share. Please subscribe. Comment. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe I'm a lunatic. Who knows? It's all good, man. I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.